Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is the penultimate video in our Translating into Propositional Logic series and gives an example of translating standard form arguments into symbolic propositional logic sequence. Let's look at a standard form argument which will test what we have understood so far in this series. Premise 1. Socrates likes pineapple and quince. Premise 2. Plato dislikes Runcible if and only if Socrates likes quince. Conclusion. Plato dislikes Runcible. This argument contains two premises and a conclusion. The first premise contains two propositions connected with a conjunction. Socrates likes pineapple and Socrates likes quince. Let's give these propositions sentence letters in our key. The second premise also contains two propositions. Plato likes Runcible and Socrates likes Quince. The first proposition is negated using the dis prefix. Let's give its non-negated form a sentence letter in our key. Now, because the second proposition of the second premise has already been stated in the first premise, we don't need to add a sentence letter to our key. The conclusion contains one negated proposition. This proposition has also already been stated in the second premise, so we don't need to add another sentence letter to our key. Oh no. Now we have our key and an understanding of the punctuation and grammar rules of sequence, the correct translation would be this. This reads, premise, Socrates likes pineapple and Socrates likes quince, comma, premise, it is not the case that Plato likes Runcible if and only if Socrates likes Quince. Turnstile conclusion, it is not the case that Plato likes Runcible. 